you know, and the worst part about a movie is the first five minutes. You're not sure is it going to be good for the next hour and a half, two hours, or is it going to be really bad? Um, that's the kind of movie I knew right away. I was just going to love it because Jack Nicholson was just so good in his narration. Um, anyway, uh, third best movie, as I did say before, the aforementioned uh, Elf. You know, absolute classic Christmas movie. Um, I remember seeing it as a freshman in, in college. And when it first came out, you know, I, I went with my uh, former lacrosse uh, lacrosse teammate. We went to the local uh, theater up at uh, school where I went, and I just laughed my ass off then. I still laugh my ass off now. I think Will Ferrell is just so good um, in this movie, and he just plays like a little kid. You know, he's just he's just so good in this film. Um, and another movie, I would say, just like the last time movie, I cannot stand, and I hate that I have. Um, I absolutely hate Dear John. I, I'm not just saying that, trying to be a tough guy. Like I, I did say I don't mind rom coms, but I think the movie sucked. I just didn't think it was very good. You know, even my girlfriend said it wasn't that good. So I mean, that you know keeps puts me in the clear pretty much. All right. Anyway, next line. Okay, this line right here. Uh, for top three favorites. Um, number one. I gotta say, Ferris Bueller's Day Off. I uh, recently bought this from Amazon. Great deal. Um, had you know, just had to get it. It's one of those movies I've seen um, so many times as a kid. And like I said in my other video, my introduction video, um, just absolutely uh, love movies that were from the '80s and '90s that I had on VHS that are now in Blu-ray format. I just think it's so cool to to see things that I might have missed from, you know, just less pixels, less megahertz, all that kind of stuff, the older school TVs that I now pick up on my uh on my TV I use to watch Blu-rays. So, it's just so cool to see that movie in its, you know, in modern day format. And I picked up on a lot of things I never really did with a VHS. So, I really enjoyed watching that again. Um I kind of think that was Matthew Broderick's, you know, best movie and he's he's he was Funny and Cable Guy, and I never really got into that freshman movie with Marlon Brando. I thought it was a little bit too far-fetched, and I just, I don't know, I just wasn't really into that movie. But and I, I kind of think Matthew Broderick has really just changed, you know, like, from who he used to be. I thought he was so cool as Ferris Bueller, but other than that, I just always kind of thought he was, I don't know, just a little goofy. But, you know, whatever, more power to him. Um, going to say my second favorite movie in this list here, I gotta go with Forrest Gump. I mean, I'm pretty sure it was 94 or 95 Best Picture. Um, it's just a wonderful movie. You know, some most people who critique it call it a perfect movie because it really is a perfect movie. I mean, everything that happens is just, it's just so good, and it makes you feel good. And it's just it, it, the movie's so diverse in culture, and uh, it really shows all the things that kind of were exposed back in the 60s, 70s, and you know, I guess 80s too. And it's just, it's so neat to see how they, they put him in there, shaking hands with JFK and shaking hands with the president after that and, you know, just kind of pretend like he's talking to John Lennon. It's just, it's so cool how they did that. And especially in mid-90s, if not before mid-90s, them having the uh, ability to put that in. Because, you know, nowadays I feel like it's a lot easier to uh, to do that. But um, but back in the mid-90s, when we saw that on the film... You know, I was like, holy hell, how'd they do that? You know, and I was I was a little boy then, and my parents were, like, telling me how they did that and how it wasn't real. I was like, oh, okay, well, that's cool. But I just remember thinking Forrest Gump was just such a great movie. You know, I love that he was so good at ping pong. Um, I love that Haley Joe Osment was his son. I absolutely, I don't know what it is, but even when I was a kid, up until now, the part where, you know, Forrest gets really emotional about knowing he has a son and one if he's smart and stuff. It's just it shows that he is he lacks in certain smarts, but he has a humongous heart. And I think those are honest to God some of the best people in the world, the ones with the biggest heart. Because they no matter what you, you, you basically tell them, they still remain a good person. And Forrest Gump was always a good person and no matter what he always loved Jenny, even if she did certain things that were, you know, I think, you know, maybe he thought wasn't right, and I think most of the viewers thought wasn't right. But he still loved her, you know, and that's what really you should be as you know as a human being. If you're going to love somebody, you know, absolutely love them. And he really showed you know people how to really do that, just as that role is for us. So Tom Hanks did a wonderful job in that role. Um, third favorite out of all these, I gonna have to go with comedy here. I gotta go with Forgetting Sarah Marshall. Um, saw that back in I think it was 2008. Um, I saw it at at grad school, and uh, it's just one of those movies that I just absolutely love every time. 
I always think it's funny. Um, the uh, the DVD version of it, it wasn't too bad when it came out. It came, excuse me, as it uh, as it was formatted on the TV. I just had to buy the Blu-ray because I just wanted the Blu-ray. That's all I can really say. But I did watch the DVD of it, and it didn't really look too bad. I mean, there there was a slight difference in the Blu-ray, of course, because Blu-ray is always better than DVD. But the DVD looked good too. So I mean, if you want to save five bucks, I mean, get yourself the DVD because I thought the DVD did look good. Um, I just really enjoyed it. Um, if I could pick out a movie here, I really could not, I, I kind of regret buying. Um, I, I gotta probably say Fireproof. I have nothing against religion. I have no real, no crazy opinion about it. I just was so bored with it. I just thought it was so unrealistic. I mean, I'm sure people probably disagree with me. I'm just giving you my opinion. Like I said, I have nothing against religion and what you want to believe in. I just thought it was just really just out there. I just did not see... Some of the I don't know I just I just didn't really see how it was remotely accurate to the real world and you know that's just my opinion like I said but there's a lot of great movies on this section here too um, the section my last section here with the uh, with the uh, the tower let me move this back a little bit sorry um, if I would look at all these and have to pick three favorites there are so many good ones here. Um, I'm sure some of you are probably screaming right now at me for not saying this one, but I'm not going to say Goodfellas, which you see on the far left. I think it's a great movie. I do like it a lot. Obviously, I did buy it, but not my favorite three here from this list. I'm going to have to say for number one, Goodwill Hunting, which is right next to Goodfellas. I remember seeing it when I was like 11, maybe, maybe 10 or 11. I remember seeing it with my parents, and I finally figured out what it meant, like, why, you know, you like apples, well, I got a number. How do you like them apples? And I just thought that was so cool and so badass. And you know, I was so young, but I did understand it. I just I remember thinking this was so cool how we said that. And you know, I thought it was really neat that Matt Damon and um, Ben Affleck wrote that in college together. And it's such a genius script. And just the acting's great. The music's good. Um, I thought Robin Williams was exceptional. I mean, he did win. I'm pretty sure he won the best supporting actor for that movie. Just really enjoyed that. Um, one of those movies that no matter what, it just, I just love watching it. Um, I really thought, I hate to say this, the only thing I didn't like about the movie, I just, I got really annoyed with Minnie Driver. I don't know, I've never been really a fan of her as an actress. Um, I thought she was okay in Gross Point Blank, but I just, I never really liked her in that movie. I thought there could have been a much better choice. Um, not to say that. I know anyone right now off the top of my head that could do better, but I just didn't think that she was really that good in that role. Um, but again, Robin Williams, he was wonderful in that movie. Um, I think Stellan Skarsgård was the professor that kind of found him as a janitor, but he was also pretty much a genius figuring out all of his, uh, all of finding out that he was a genius in math and I thought he was excellent in that. You know, he just played, in my opinion, a uh, professor in any college you really see. He didn't. And it just seemed like he really knew how to be a professor. Um, can I say that's my first favorite out of these three? Uh, excuse me, out of this section here. Um, my number two favorite. I gotta go with The Hangover. Again, I got to go comedy, and most people, you know, most people will probably agree with me or not agree, not agree with me here. Some people found it, I guess, silly or not real funny or stupid. I think it's one of the funniest movies. I might have ever seen. Um, I remember seeing it at the movie theater with a friend, and I, I remember literally I was on the outside of the row, and I fell to the floor laughing. And I, there could have been, there could have been dried up soda. There could have been crap. No matter what, I didn't even care. I didn't care what happened to my jeans. I remember laughing hysterically, hysterically to that movie. Got to say, my favorite part in that movie is when is when Alan gets tased, and he's just like kind of walking like a zombie towards that little kid. That that part just I, that's the part that knocked me on the floor laughing. I just think that's just so genius how they did that. Um, let me come a little closer. Um, my third favorite in this, I'm gonna have to think on that one. I, I really, there's just so many good movies here. Um, I'm gonna have to honestly, I have to probably say Home Alone. I mean, it's just you know, I know it's not really Christmas season. This isn't during Christmas. This is March, but it's just that movie. I've watched it so many times. You know, directed by Chris Columbus. Pretty sure it came out in like 1990. Um, I love that Joe Pesci and Daniel Stern were in it. You know, they they were one of the they were one of the the best in that whole movie. They were just so good as the ones that's getting beat up, and they they were kind of not the most intelligent people in the world. And I just absolutely loved that movie as a kid. I can still remember watching that movie on VHS 
every you know every sleepover I ever went to, I always, I always put it in my bag. I mean, if if you're my age, if you're in your twenties, you can remember sleepovers and how you'd have your bag full of VHS movies that you're taking over to your friend's house. They had to make sure your their mom was okay with us watching it, and our my mom was okay with me taking it. I just loved doing that. And Home Alone was always in that. It was just one of those movies that was just always in my bag. You know, I always wanted to watch it. Um, another part of that movie, I, I thought the mom was okay in it. You know, she has a lot of funny parts in it, but I always kind of found her annoying. I thought the dad was kind of annoying in that movie. Um, I loved Buzz. I thought he was great as a bully brother, bully big brother. Even though he did love Kevin, he's kind of a bully about stuff. And uh, I thought he was great. You know, Macaulay Culkin, and I, I grew up watching him as a kid. You know, I grew up watching him. And, like he's he's older than me, but I just remember you know growing up watching like all of his movies. I saw so many of his movies. I always enjoyed, obviously, Home Alone and Home Alone Two. Um, I don't think he was not in Home Alone Three, and that movie was terrible. But you know, young Scarlett Johansson. But it was uh, you know I loved him in Richie Rich. You know, which I you know which I'll talk about later about Blu-rays. I wish that went to to uh, Blu-ray or movies that went to Blu-ray. Um, and unfortunately that movie has not, but I loved Richie Rich. Um, the good son was creepy as hell. And I really bought that. He was just a psychopath in a movie. He was a weird kid. Um, not trying to spoil anything, but that movie, it was, uh, it was really good how crazy he was. Um, so a good son's a great movie to check out. Um, a little disturbing, a little disturbing. Um, not really cool of seeing kids do the stuff that he did. Um, but it's, it's a movie he did that I really enjoyed. And I always thought was just, just uh, spooky, just creepy. Um, anyway, so those are...